I'm sitting here cage side with the brilliant matchmaker, Yusuf Nasser for Brave Combat Federation. Yusuf, what can you tell us about this fighter? Antonio Carlos Ibero is uh, a very strong striker, has a really nasty overhand, a fantastic record of 16 and three. Trains with the likes of Alex Cowboy Oliveira, so you know he's, uh, <laughs> you know, he, he's gone through the forge. This is a really exciting fighter, and I can't wait for him to make his debut against none other than Ahmad Sheran Sheran Shervaniyev. He made sure that we pronounce his name right this week in the, in the hotel, so I had to make sure we get that one right. 21-year-old fighter out of Ahmad MMA, an undefeated featherweight. He really impressed me when I watched his fight with Arsen Ubaidaliv, uh, which was the main event of WFCA 49. Quick, clinical, violent. He's a fantastic regional talent, has showed some tools that make you want to keep an eye on him as he progresses. Phil, the next fighter who's going to come out, Ahmed, is only 21 years old. Do you think that that age could play against him? Do you think 21 is a little young for a fighter? Well, initially, at the start of the broadcast, I would have said yes, but then we've seen Anzor in the opening fight, who's 20 years old, exhibit great poise. So what I expect from, from Ahmed Sherwaniev is, is that great game that we've seen, that great wrestling game we see from the Ahmed Fight Club guys. This is a young man with 11 wins, nine finishes you're talking about an 82 percent finish rate which is huge in mixed martial arts ladies and gentlemen let's welcome his opponent into the cage lee from Petrovsky, russia and akbar fight club akbar chenwani Carlos got his name right, props to him. Well, we wouldn't expect anything less from the consummate pro, the roaring lion of Brave Combat Federation, Mr. Carlos Kramer. Absolutely. I ordinarily, when a fighter's 21 years old and not named John Jones, I ordinarily have some questions <laughs> about how durable he is. But I want to say once again, these Ahmad fighters are the toughest group of guys I have ever seen in my 25 year history in this sport. I do believe that this 21 year old is going to fight like he's a grizzled veteran in his late 20s. A real interesting wrinkle of this fight is we have the wrestling of the Ahmed Fight Club guys versus the black belt jiu-jitsu of Antonio Carlos. So we have a wrestling versus BJJ kind of vibe going on. What I've seen happen in these kind of fights before is that they turn into stand-up battles. So we could see two grapplers going at it, throwing the hands. Two, two grapplers going at it in a kickboxing match. <laughs> exactly, you said. I've got some confidence that Ahmed is gonna be able to take this bout to the ground. I do think we're gonna see at some point a wrestling versus jiu-jitsu match. And I can't wait. The scary thing is, I would not want to take a black belt, a jiu-jitsu black belt down and see what he does off his bike. Although there's an old saying, if you punch a black belt in the face once, he's a brown belt, and every punch, one more belt disappears. The Los firing up the crowd, as he always does. I am really looking forward to this one. 
Jiu-Jitsu versus wrestling, strength versus strength, and it's on! Touch of gloves to get us underway. Antonio Carlos looks very light on his feet. Very smart to shift, very smart to show that moving. Very tough to throw a double leg in the middle of that. Oh, oh. nice little overhand left there. Sharon Eve looking very focused, fighting his time, waiting to see what Antonio Carlos has to throw at him. If you follow Antonio Carlos on Instagram, you may have seen that he's been lifting super heavy weight in the lead up to this fight. What I think that could be an illustration of is that is that he knows that there's going to be a ground battle involved. He knows that he's going to have to use and engage those muscles and engage that strength. I can also guarantee he's got a knee in his arsenal. He isn't showing it yet. But with the hips set up this way, he is poised to throw a huge knee. He's keeping his head down watching the feet of Shewaniev. I think that may be a, a tactic. Oh! oh! How quick was that hook? That came out of nowhere. And it landed perfectly, and it seemed to have no effect. So Waniev must be hungry, because he just ate that shot. Look at the movement of Antonio Carlos. Oh. Showing some beautiful head movement, borrowed from boxing. That's incredible. He's not even making eye contact. There's almost like an element of capoeira about his movement. He may be looking to set up something special, something extravagant. Throwing lots of feints. I like what he's doing there with the feints. He throws the feints and then launches forward with a heavy strike. Always keep your opponent guessing with those feints. Go high, go low. Switching stances. Ahmed is stalking. I don't think he's quite figured out an answer for this elusive style. Oh, Ooh, beautiful maybe one that's two. the answer right there. A big right hand. Well, Antonio Carlos completely unmoved by that combination from Shawaniev. You know, Antonio Carlos Cabrera kind of reminds me of, of Keith Jardine with that herky-jerky movement. Yes, good call, good call. Oh, nice little clip there by Ahmad. Oh. Charging forward. Strikes didn't land quite clean for Antonio Carlos. Oh, oh. beautiful head kick. <laughs> He rocked him with that. He rocked oh, him. He dropped, he dropped him. him. He dropped, dropped him. and dropped. He's back up. Wow. Antonio Carlos has to be feeling the effect of that. Shawaniev is going to oh. turn the pressure up right now. Backing his opponent against the cage. Lands those, those, knees, short those knees are going. Shawaniev definitely feels a change in the, the momentum and tempo of this fight. But again, illustrating a, a patience beyond his 21 years right now. Nice slip of the hook by Shawaniev. Ahmed showing a clear strategy now. Keep moving slightly, stalk, and then explode. Sets up with the head kick. This was not the wrestling versus jiu-jitsu battle that we thought might happen, but it is extremely interesting. But it's exactly what uh, Phil said. It was going to be a kickboxing match. Good call. Thank you. <laughs> Oh! Ooh. Big overhand. The way these guys are throwing, anyone can land something here. All it takes is one shot, Yusuf. Nice stiff jab by Antonio Carlos. Hibero eating some shots, but it is not cutting into his confidence or his game plan. He believes in what he's doing, showing head movement, footwork, shifting. Again with a stiff jab. Ahmed stalking methodically and then exploding. Seems to have something in his left eye that's bothering him, Ahmed. It's the third time he's been rubbing it now. It's possible some lin liniment got in there. Could be a punch. I don't believe I saw an errant finger. Nice little teeth kick there. Oh! oh. oh. That landed right in the glove, but you can only take so many of them. If there's an accumulation of those types of head kicks, they will get through the glove. And Hibero did answer with a stomp to the knee, which could have an effect later on. Those leg kicks are money in the bank in a fight. Short time.
Well, finishing with big strikes. Excellent round. More of that, please, in round two. That was incredible. Phil, break it down for me. How do you call this fight? 10, 9, 9, 10. Who do you like? Um, because because of the kind of strikes that he was landing, I'm going to say 10, 9 to Ahmed. Because, in my opinion, he did land the cleaner strikes. The movement of Antonio Carlos Ibero may have been off-putting, and I think that's part of the game plan of Antonio Carlos, is to implement that kind of movement to try and stave off the takedown. But we see the big strikes being landed here by Sherwaniev and dropping his opponent. But a well-conditioned athlete, Antonio Carlos Ibero was able to pop back up. What I think's interesting is, I'm not sure whether Antonio Carlos Ibero can sustain that type of movement for the duration of a three round fight because it's constant movement. He's constantly on his toes. Seems to be okay. Just picked up his ice and threw it in the bucket. He's raring to go here. Do you think we might see one of them attempt to take this to the ground at this point? I think, I think we could see more of the same as we've seen in the first round. I agree 100%. I think both fighters have some confidence in what they're doing and they're going to do it. But again, that herky-jerky style movement from Antonio Carlos. Brazilian Keith Jardim. Joanna, very, ca very calm in there, keeping everything nice and fluey. I can tell you one thing. This style is not what they're used to in the Ahmad MMA gym. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Two men stand and test each other. Nice, nice head kick from Antonio Carlos. I do think we're seeing some shades of Capoeira here. Oh, Antonio Carlos was first to shoot out for the takedown. Very interesting. Didn't chase it too hard, though. Maybe just testing the water with it, Carrick. Uh, it felt more like a reaction. He, he saw it, it might be there, went for mm -hmm. it when it wasn't, shifted effortlessly into, into a, some looping shots. Joanne of using that jab expertly as he fades away just to keep Antonio Carlos at the end of it. Oh! oh. That kick got through, gentlemen. Oh, lovely short uppercut. Just landed on the inside. Ahmed is showing incredible poise for someone who's only 21 years old. Agreed. Ahmed with the center of the cage. Surprisingly, though, the wrestler isn't using the center of the cage to, to back his opponent up against the cage and work for the takedown. So he must be supremely confident in his hands and his boxing. Absolutely. And as this fight goes on, it seems like he's slowly starting to figure out Antonio Carlos. Oh, trip. Oh, sorry, slip rather by Antonio Carlos. We may see a takedown. Antonio Carlos presses Ahmed against the cage. Nice knee from the clinch there. Both men land on little pot shots. Little giraffe fight. Each fighter trying to get their head in the inside. If with the head in the inside, he Whoa. can separate and he did. Antonio Carlos Hibero is throwing those hooks with bad intentions. They're not range finders. He's, he's looking to find the chin of Ahmed. Do you feel that Antonio Carlos is starting to slow down just a little bit? As I alluded to in between rounds, I don't think that kind of movement is sustainable for a three-round fight. Absolutely. It's like playing FIFA. You, you can't make your player constantly sprint because it will, it will zap their energy. That's a great comparison. Hib Hibero has nice straight shots, but that... That herky-jerky style makes it very hard to throw straight punches. He's got good ones, but in order to throw them, he's got to set down for a second. When he sets down, he, he feels like he might get hit. So he's, he's got a little bit of a conundrum here. Stay moving, throw looping shots, or set down and throw hard straight shots. So you think he needs to set down on his punches a little more, refine the, the classic boxing style technique with those punches? That is what the judges are going to be looking for. He's mm -hmm. not throwing and landing the harder shots. The judge is going to be looking for a harder shot. In order to do that, he's got to set down. Oh. No tail on that head kick at all. Leaping forward with the hook. 
You know, Antonio seems to be dipping his head quite a bit whenever he comes in. I wonder if Ahmed might start throwing a few uppercuts and see how those work. There it is again. It's a little dip. I think that's why we see Ahmed throwing those head kicks. He's almost anticipating the movement out and dipping the head. Not unlike uh, the John Jones DC fight. Correct. Maybe looking just to time that as he moves to one side through the head kick and catch clean with it. Nice short low kick by Hibero. Oh, oh, there's that there short uppercut. Cut. Great call. Momentarily wobbled the legs just ever so slightly. What I like about Ahmed's striking is his punches are, are landing first because he's throwing them with such clean technique. And by the time Antonio Carlos Ibero has thrown that looping shot, Ahmed's popped his jab, popped it straight, and got right back out of the way. Yeah. That's it, round's ended. We're waiting for the excellent video crew here to bring us up some replays in the meantime. Phil, how do you call it? 10-9-9-10. Again, I'm gonna go 10-9 to, to Ahmed because of his work rate, because he's landing the cleaner shots. He, he's, his technique is, is that little bit cleaner. And as we see, the gas tank of Antonio Carlos is slowly starting to be depleted with that movement. So there we see Ahmed catching the kick and landing hellacious strikes, dropping his opponent. Nice short uppercut there from Antonio Carlos. But here we see the stalking of Ahmed, chaining his strikes together really well. A real interesting battle going into the third round here, gentlemen. There's that head kick we were talking about. If you were, if you were the coach of Antonio Carlos Rivera, what would you be telling him in between this round and the third round? I'd be telling him, as Carrick alluded to, to sit down and commit to his punches a little bit more. In my humble opinion, he's down two rounds. He needs a submission or he needs a TKO in order to win this. I would say commit to your punches a little bit more. Refine the technique. Keep the shots nice and straight. Use that classic boxing style. Agreed 100%. I would tell him to move in and move out. He's using his head movement and his circular movement to protect himself. I think he's got to switch it up and pop in and out. It's the only chance he's got of landing a super hard straight shot. We see him a little less herky-jerky, a little less frenetic in this third round. That mouse under the, the right eye of, of Ahmed is really starting to pop. I'd like to see a little bit more urgency from Antonio Carlos Ibero. Ahmed betraying zero emotion in this fight. Oh! Just shy with the knee. Had that have connected. Inches away from something devastating. See Antonio Carlos charging and almost slightly wild. He, is, he has the right idea. He has the, the, the idea that he needs to take this fight. So I take it by the horns. But his punches are just that little bit wild. There was a straight shot that landed. Shevlaniev just taking his time, being methodical with it. That seems to be a hallmark of the Ahmed Fight Club guys. Just that calmness, that patience, that almost scary demeanor. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they, they are... If you get to meet some of the fighters from that camp like we have over this week, they are all just complete stone-cold killers. Fantastic professionals, excellent athletes. There's an unnerving almost stoicism about them in the cage. Yeah. It has to play in a fighter's mind when you land a big shot and the guy who's across from you doesn't even blink. Mm. The good pressure being exerted here by Shawaniev. Three minutes to go in this round. Can Antonio Carlos find a solution to Ahmed? Oh, see that's the cleanness of the strikes. He's able to land that and just get out of range so quickly. I'm really enjoying the boxing of Ahmed Shavaniyev here. 
was calm, keeping his foot on the outside of his opponent's foot. Again, just those punches, are, they're missing by, by millimetres. And I think that says just how good Ahmed's distancing is there. I agree completely. Ahmed feels like he's got his opponent's timing. Oh, landed you're, heavy. You're starting to see the effects of it now. He believes he knows what his opponent has, and he believes he can deal with it. You're going to see him, based on that knowledge, start trying to turn it up even further. Beautiful straight shot landed by Ahmed there. Do we think he's going to turn up the pressure now? I do. I think he knows what's, I think he feels like he knows what's going to be coming at him and he can deal with it. Antonio Carlos definitely slowing down a bit here. Oh, that uppercut was there. As you alluded to earlier, Yusef, Antonio Carlos just dips his head in as he finishes those combinations. Oh. Nice step in job. Antonio Carlos has got to do something extraordinary here now. He's got just over a minute to, to do it. Yeah, he has to go for broke. Quite simply, he has to go for broke in the final minute of this fight. The problem is fatigue cuts down on your ability to shift both mentally and physically. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure there's enough left in the tank to turn this around. Antonio's corner is cheering him on. Trying to exhort him to bigger, greater efforts. Oh, another oh. short uppercut rules under. For me, even though, even in the closing minute of this fight, Ahmed Shawaniyev is still throwing heavy strikes. He's still the aggressor. It would be very easy for him to just move around a little bit, coast, throw yeah. some jabs and coast. He's not doing it. He's sticking to his game plan just a relentlessly. A consummate pro, a consummate fighter. They look to land something oh. big here to finish. Big oh. spin. Last 10 seconds, these guys could be in a firefight. Oh, go for it. Go for it. What a head kick. Letting those hands go. Oh, both guys landed. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what a way to end that fight. Both men stood two to two, landing big strikes and catching their opponent with big strikes. Carlos, wow. Carlos, what do you, what do, what are we thinking? Is that three and zero now for Team Ahmad? I think so. I think that has to be. That's got to be a 30-27 fight right there. I second that. That, but what a fight! <laughs> what a fight! This is only the third fight of the night. If we keep going at this pace, we are in for a treat. Ahmed Shawaniyev had no need to engage in that last 10, 20 seconds, but he thought, you know what? I'm in here. I'm fighting in the Kingdom of Bahrain. I'm fighting in the Brave Combat Federation cage. I'm going to lay it all out on the line. I'm going to make a statement. These people will remember my name. There's more courage in that than is immediately evident. As you said, he could have won this fight by moving around, throwing a jab from the outside and basically enjoying the last few minutes. But instead, he chose to enjoy the last few minutes by stepping in there and throwing down. <laughs> Antonio Carlos is still bouncing around. In comes Carlos Kramer.